Welcome back. We are here looking at the energy markets, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, April 21st, 2022. If you like support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll stop by looking at WTI oil. And as you can see, we did fall quite aggressively today down towards $99.81 per barrel and ended up trading at roughly $102.67 per barrel. So we are we did rally today uh, up roughly 0.38%. But uh, this rally at the end of the session is a kind of kind of a bullish shine for oil so we did break out of this area here can light it up and we had this so when we broke out of this triangle we started rallying quite significantly got fairly over stretched and uh, pull back so we have the 50 moving average coming this way we did break below the 50 moving average and rallied and we ended up uh, above the 50 moving average and that's a fairly bullish shine so what we most likely are seeing here is that we pull back and are going to bounce from the 50 moving average if we drop below here then we most likely will bounce from this line and it's not until we basically break below this line that we will drop towards the 200 moving average which is at 82 but due to the fact that people are uh, buying this dip it could signal that we will see, see something similar to this move here and then going going higher so there are a few barriers in that we need to look at it's roughly 116 which is our previous highs here and then also this area which is roughly at 124 uh, to 130 which we need to cross in order to go higher so of course uh, oil is uh, is bullish due to the fact in the, uh, that we have a war in in ukraine and uh, and and so on and uh, and but there is also the problem that the world economy is kind of slowing down. This given indication that it's slowing down, and that will absolutely hammer both oil and also natural gas and so on. If you use, if there's going to be less productivity, then we're also going to use less um, energy, and therefore oil usually falls off a cliff when we get into recession territory. But that, is that is not yet. If we look at uh, natural gas, we continue to fall. We're down 4.89 at this current stage, trading at $6.825. And this probably has uh, a long way to go before hitting rock bottom. So if you look at Fibonacci retracement, we can see that uh, uh, 38.2 is right here at 6.4. And we have the 50 down here at, uh, at roughly $6. And we had the 61.8 down here at 5.4. So uh, considering the Fibonacci retracement, uh, this has a long way to go before, before, before we will see any kind of bounce. But then we also have the previous highs here. And that is probably where we will see um, this bounce uh, from, the, uh, from this fall. So we may drop towards the... A 20 simple moving average which is the middle of the bullish band and then see a bounce so we'll have something similar to this bounce up towards the half and then continue lower towards the Fibonacci retracements uh, levels so uh, that is to be seen so we'll most likely see something like this go parabolic drop down down up to, up to half and then continue uh, down uh, so that's most likely what is going to happen um, we could also see this basically turn around here and then go up. So that would mean that we would uh, see uh, this parabolic move head back towards uh, support, which is at uh, 6.5, uh, 6 uh, give or take 6.2, and then continue higher up towards 9 and 9.5. And if we look at technical indicators, they do not favor uh, this outcome here. 
Technically, MACD is still bullish, but it's about to cross the signal line. Stochastic is very bearish, and so is the RSI. But if we fall too far, then we may get oversold and therefore get buying pressure to go higher. But I do expect this to go towards support here, rally up to half, and then go lower. And that is what I'm basically looking for at this current, this current stage. So, hope you find this helpful. You won't support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell, and to see our newest videos. And good luck, and thank you very much.